Hi, uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Indoor Bioponic Garden. All right, so I uh, just wanted to show you what happened uh, all winter long. Uh, well, a lot of things have been cut, but um, as you can see, a lot of things are doing very well. Uh, I'll go through some of the things I just planted. So we have uh, from seed, I planted some parcel, and uh, it's a mixture of parsley and celery. I'm not really sure, but it tastes delicious in soups. And uh, we have a few other things that I uh, put in these new leaf, um, these new pots, but not really sure what they are. Uh, I forgot to label them. Of course, here's my favorite uh, well-used garlic chives. And, yeah, so I use them quite often. I just uh, took more cuttings of the basil plant that's been going for more than a year, and I'm hoping to get some growth, uh, propagation growth off of that. Here's our... Uh, stray mint that kind of was in a pot and I kind of got out of the pot. I'm letting it roam around for now. It's not too dangerous. <clears throat> so i got some kales growing here. These are some flat leaf kale. They're called 1000 head kale. They're doing very well. And uh, you'll notice uh, somewhere in here is, there's a few tomatoes. These are um, these are called uh, I think tom uh, totem tomatoes and they're very small, they're not going to get more than a couple fe uh, feet and uh, produce really nicely. Uh, this gu these guys are Lovage, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And here you'll see some uh, cabbages, um, these are some of the Asian cabbages. And a few of them. Here's my uh, well cut as you could see from all the cuttings. Uh, this is my French sorrel. I just planted some brand new uh, cabbage, uh, more ca Chinese cabbages, different types. You know, these are very small ones. Uh, they're, I think they're mini dwarves. These guys, if they ever pop up, are supposed to be some sea kale. They're supposed to be like a perennial type of perennial kale. This is choice sum. And as you can see, my some of it is going to flower. And uh, we've got some uh, in the back, lots and lots of um, walking onions. <coughs> I'm um, growing them from a lot of these guys from seed. They're doing great. <coughs> and here you can see um, some newly sprouted artichokes, just regular globe artichokes. They took a while to sprout up, and now they're doing great. I'm going to have to thin them out and replant them. See what else we got here. So I planted a few more things. Some pepper. It's not come up yet. And uh, well, we'll see. I've got my uh, little tiny pot filled with uh, fresh oyster shells. It's been keeping the pH nice and steady. And actually, I haven't had any problems with uh, any drift. Um, so it's been looking really nice. Uh, very easy to take care of these guys. Uh, all you have to do is keep the uh, keep the bucket full so just, you know fill it up when it needs it and uh, I have to do that about once a week you know put in maybe another nine gallons or so and then uh, the bugs I found out a great way to keep the bugs at bay uh, I know this just sounds silly but blowtorch yeah, a lot of the bugs if you go quickly over them they'll um, you know kill the bugs won't hurt the plants. Um, you know, sometimes they get a little bit uh, toasty, but they recover pretty nicely. So, uh, you know, bugs do not though. So uh, I've been keeping the bugs at bay. I haven't seen a, a single aphid, aphid or any other kind of uh, nasty bug. They've got some little flying guys, but they're not going to, they're not bothersome. They don't, you know, pick it and you, they just walk right off. So fly right, right off, I should say. But uh, that's about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be starting uh, some garden outside soon in my greenhouse. But for now, uh, I kind of like where things are going with this. Um, things grow really nicely in here. It's steady results. We have the ebb and flow on here for every hour on, just for 15 minutes, and then off. And, of course, the lights here are on for uh, about 12 or 16, let's see. Let's see, I think about from 8 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning till about 11 o'clock at night, so you do the math. 
Thanks for watching.